Welcome back to the channel and thanks for having a look at today's video. We're continuing on with that BRDM2 build for the Iraq Army during the 1990-91 Gulf War with the standard turrets, so just the um, machine guns mounted in them. So we're just going to continue on and the first thing I'm going to do is paint these tyres. So last video we sort of got some of that camouflage onto the vehicles which is just one type of camouflage they had. They had many and um, you can see some spots probably needs touching up a little bit but we'll get to that later on. Uh, the first colour I'm going to do, use is German grey and we're just going to paint the tyres. So give it a good shake and I've just got my standard palette here with a bit of water in one of these cells and I'll put some paint in there and paper towel underneath because I just wash my brushes, clean my brushes out and then uh, wash them out in paper towel but we'll get straight into it. So a little bit of German grey there. I find it's a really good colour um, for sort of dull, worn tyres, not that sort of parade look. And um, I'll use a number one brush. So just a bit of paint and um, yeah, straight into it. And I've just put the vehicles on bottle tops. Just find it's easier if you have them mounted on something. So. You'll, if you do look up the BRDM um, in the Gulf War, sometimes you'll see they have black rims as well. A lot of spare parts and, and parts that were painted uh, in the Soviet Union, then sent to Iraq, and then they painted them um, different colours, like these sandy light colours. They sort of come green and then repainted, and um, some of the wheels were just painted black and then just not changed. So might see that in reference books or material but I'll just go around and give the tyres, I'm going to muddy them up so it doesn't matter if they're super neat um, although you don't want them real messy so. So I'll go around and paint all the tyres, pretty, pretty easy, not too hard to do that one, that's alright. And I'll try and get a bit on the underside there, on the inside of the tyres. And then whilst you're still using German grey, um, I'm just going to paint inside this hatch. Um, we've gone open, which I do on a lot of my vehicles, open hatches. So. Bit of, bit of paint in there, just depends what crew commander we put in there to uh, how it's going to look. And I'll also paint the machine gun. Now when you paint the machine gun, they, they actually sit on a cradle. So you see just underneath the gun they haven't painted that section. And that's because there's this mount that the gun sort of sits in, which is if you took the gun out, you'd be left with this sort of cradle mounting system so it doesn't matter you can paint them if you want don't have to but um yeah i mean paint the models however you want but yeah i've done that so this that german gray the tires i've got some on my fingers tires um machine guns and in the hatch so once i finish with the german gray give that brush a quick rinse out in the water that i've got there and then just on the paper towel. A lot of the time I use a brush cleaner as well. So if I'm not really planning on coming back to that brush, I'll put it in the brush cleaner. Clean it out. But, um, the next part I'm going to I'll bring in this vehicle. I haven't painted the machine gun on this one yet, but I'll do that off camera after we painted that other one. So that's the the sort of way I do it. Um, next, I'm going to grab just an old brush that's sort of not too tough the bristles, but they're not soft either. They're, they're um, and this is just an old, an old cheap brush from a not from a hobby shop, just from like a craft shop or something. But and what we're going to do is muddy up these tires. So I'll bring in 
another vehicle that I did off camera. And you can just sort of see the difference. The one on the left is the one that's obviously had that brush sort of painted on a bit of that sort of muddy effect to it. And that's what I want to do to this one on the right. So, and for that, I use US Field Drab. Make sure you give it a, a good shake. And there's a bit of that German grey left over there, blob. So I'll, I'll go around and touch up a few things off, after off camera with that colour. So I'll just get a bit on the palette, mixing around. So you can see it there on the top right. And then what I do is I bring the palette around a bit. I just touch those bristles in it. I'll bring it over here and I'll brush it out a little bit. And then I'll just brush across the the model and you start to see it change colour. And under the front here, I'll sort of brush stroke it a different way. Pick up a little bit more of that paint. Go across. Can we on this side? And that sort of changed the colour of our vehicle a bit. And of course you can go TV as light as you like. If I've got too much I think I'll do underneath the vehicle for a bit. And then just bring that colour back up. And then down the side again. Just till we start to get that transition to a bit of a dirty look. So you can go as long as you want on that I think that's one of those things you can just keep going, keep going, keep going but definitely let your tyres dry first before you start brushing that on and um, if you do brush that on Make sure your brush stays dry, only wash it out when you're definitely not going to do any more dry brushing. So um, I'll leave that one and then I'll move on to the next one. And the next colour we're going to use is one of the panel line colours. And here we're using the orange brown because we want to give them an in the field sort of older look. So give them a good shake. They have a clear um, glass container so you can see when it's broken up a bit. So that a bit of a shake and then and what I'll do is I'll just go around anywhere where there's some lines and I don't want it to be too heavy so I'm just do some small lines of it A little bit over the exhaust systems. I'm just trying to add a little bit of colour to them now. And just gives them that in the field sort of look. Although we're gonna, we'll, we'll eventually, we're gonna, sorry, we'll eventually um, dry brush over the whole vehicle with like a white and that will tone that down a bit. So that's, uh, that's it for this video. We've got a few more colors onto our BRDMs and they're coming along quite nicely. So not too many more to, too many more colors to go, but I'll get that. Uh, all tidied up to this stage and then uh, look forward to seeing um, everyone check out the next video so thank you very much for your support thanks for everyone who follows the channel and uh, i'll see you in the next video